What's up, people? Blockchain Investing Wingless here. Coming at you today, Monday, May 17th, 2017. Um, in the blockchain space, let me tell you, I want to stress the importance of keeping your private key secure and remembering your passphrase if you back your wallet up in a passphrase. Um, I have to share this information because I had the unfortunate um, experience um, about a year ago or so I was messing around with NXT coin that's probably the first current first alt coin I started really dabbing into and um, buying and holding and trying to mess around with the software I was really excited about it because it's completely coded in Java um, and I thought it had some potential so I think I put a hundred dollars into it or 60 bucks or something like that I can't remember but I was holding some keys and then throughout the years I wiped my hard drive about a hundred times and I today cannot find my private key, my password, my passphrase for the NXT wallet. I cannot find it for the life of me. So I've looked, uh, scoured my computer's hard drives for a file containing it. I can't find it. I've tried my online storage. I can't seem to find it. And uh, today I went and found um, the actual public address. So I actually got to see the public balance. And it is about 18,000 NXT coins. And uh, NXT is about six cents a coin right now. So that's over $1,000. $1,100. And um, this is only 60 bucks and I was messing around. And last time I had a transaction or whatever, I think it was December 6th, 2016. So it wasn't too long ago. It was just about, you know, I don't know, less than 12 months ago. And it's already over $1,000. Man, I can really use $1,000 right now. So um, I never took this as serious money. When Back in the day, when I first got into this, I never... Um, realized that this was real money, that this was going to increase in value so much. I just found it as a really cool, neat little project um, and fun little, fun internet money and this thing that isn't going to amount to anything. And I just want to tell you people that this is the future of finance and if you hold on to these keys and you hold on to your passwords, um, store them in a safe place, get a P.O. box, or not a P.O. box, but a safety deposit box and put them in there. Wait three, four years, and that stuff is going to be enormous. So um, that's all I got to say, guys. Is keep your private keys secure and don't lose your passphrase. You can lose thousands of dollars, like I've done, I've lost thousands of dollars. So I want to share that knowledge with you, so you don't lose thousands of dollars. Um, and if you have any questions or comments um, about how to keep your private keys secure, write it down in the bottom, and I'll try to answer those. And please, guys, like and subscribe. Um, thank you everyone who has so far. Love you guys. Have a good day. Peace.